Okay, I'm going to show you how to create your DNA double helix origami. Um, I did not come up with this pattern on my own. Remember, I found this on the DNAI website, and it's just something I found that it was a nice, fun, concrete way to reinforce the DNA and the structure and the different things that go into biotechnology, because biotechnology always boils down to the DNA and how it's being manipulated or how it's being applied so that it can help, well, we hope, in most theories, it's supposed to benefit and help. But as you can see, when you do your research, there are some gray areas that you're going to have to find. But for right now, we're going to do this fun little assignment. I believe this was originally created by um, uh, Yen T back in 1995. Or at least that's what the works cited shows when you go into it. So in the Trends in Biochemical Sciences, this is what it was referenced to. Too. All right, so step one, we have what are called mountain and valley folds. Mountain folds mean they are folded away from you, and valley means they're going to be folded towards you. So we're simply going to follow the directions, and the directions first tell me that I need to make, let me look at it again, mountain folds on the solid lines. So mountain folds means they are folded away from me. That means the peak's going to be coming toward me, and then valley away. So I'm simply going to take it and follow the instructions. Solid fold mountains folded away from you with the peak facing me. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to do that for all four, just like it said. All right, so I have all my mountain folds created on those solid lines. Notice how that it's now bent together and going like this. And now we're going to make the valley folds. Valley folds means that we're going to follow the dashed lines, and we're going to have it with the peak pointed away from us. So we're going to take it, and we're going to find that dash line. And see how the peak, that midpoint, is pointed away from us. So we're going to do that for all of them. Okay, now, as you can see, I've gone through and I've made those valley folds. So that now that I have my mountain folded pieces, my valley folded pieces, and we're going to follow the next step of the directions. And so I simply look at those steps in the directions to go see what it says. And it says, all right, step four, bring the two sides of the model together to form an I-beam. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two sides together. Notice the side piece side of it and now I have essentially looks like an I-beam. See how it represent, resembles an I, like an I-beam that you're using for a structural member. And then we're going to do the instructions say get the piece that has the front and have front towards you. Now you want to hold the model like this with your pieces, your fingers together, and we're going to fold the sides of the DN model from the front flat. So we're going to take these and get it so that the DNA modules are facing on the front flat. And then each solid horizontal line, we're going to make a mountain fold away from us, and we're going to fold. So on each one of those solid lines, we're going to make a mountain fold. Away from me. Okay, so I'm going to continue to do that for the Now as you can see, I've made all those mountain folds, and I've been working on it, and I made them away from me so that it looks something like this. Now I'm going to read the instructions. It says flip the model to the back side. So I'm going to flip it over to where I can see the letters say back. And then I'm going to cre crease each solid diagonal line into a mountain fold, which is away from you. So that means these solid diagonal lines. Make sure. Yeah. Yeah, mountain fold away from you. I was making sure because you always want to double check because if you don't do it the right way, that's when you're going to have issues. And see how I'm just continuing and I'm following those directions. Okay, as you can see, I've created my folds as given in the instructions and I've popped my little I beam sections back out again and it's already starting to look like the little DNA, DNA helix. Our next step is we're going to kind of fold all the things together so we can make like a kind of like an accordion because we're going to fold it down. And once we make that little accordion that we squish it down, it works a lot better and it creates that, that double helix twist that we all recognize and we know that goes with the DNA. So that's what we're going to do now. All right, so I've taken and folded my little pieces back over so I have a flat piece. And now we're going to fold the pieces together to make like the little accordion that it's talking about. So I'm simply taking the piece and folding it along the fold lines and holding it in the middle. Notice how it's kind of like folding together and make an accordion or a flower 
whatever you want to call it, just something so that it goes to better, together kind of like this. Because what this does here in a minute, when we pull every band and out, we pull the eye beams out, it helps it to pop up and it makes the little DNA helix that we're looking for. So we're going to release it and we're going to hope that it starts to take our shape. And if you'll notice, it will start to take your shape. When you pop out eye beam pieces, it'll take the shape even better. So I'm going to pop those out along those folds. And you'll notice how it's already starting to really take the double helix shape that we know and recognize and associate with the DNA double helix. So now I have a pretty darn good double helix. I can take this now and attach it to my board that I have cut. And then I create and I have my different parts that go with the DNA. So basic DNA stuff, like for biotechnology, what is it? Oops, I would help if I had it the right side way, sorry. So what is biotechnology and what is it from there? So we have here biotechnology and definition and explanation of it. Then we have some uses for biotechnology. And then we break it down and we show what's the DNA, what are the different parts of the DNA. So you have your different bases, your purine and your um, Oh, I'm always going to write, but there's a different basis. Sorry, biology teachers. I know you get mad at me because I mess that up. And your, the hydrogen bonds, your sugar bonds, and how they go together and those different things that are in there. And then we identify which ones they are according to the color. If you did the hand color one, you would come up with your own color. If you'll notice, they match. They go with the different colors that matched here. So it's just a way for us to be able to look at and see and do a remember a quick visualization. Visualiz visual visualization of the DNA helix, helix, and I find that this helps students to remember. And then we simply take our little DNA helix that we've created and we simply hot glue it onto the little board so that we have something to go with it. So we take our little helix and we glue it on that board and then we just make the generic board. The board tells us about biotechnology, what it is in our own words, some examples of uses. We explain what are the DNAs, the idine, thymine, guanine, I know I said that one several probably, and cytosine. And put those in there, show your phosphate groups, your sugar groups, your, you know, and then what are those different purines and the pyrimidines. God, I finally got it right. So you see, even teachers sometimes struggle with specific terminology. And it's just to go with the biotechnology. And this is going to reinforce what biotechnology is and your DNA. Because DNA is, again, it's the base of everything. It's your building blocks, where, you know, your cells and your DNA. And these are what are typically being manipulated in some way, shape, or form by a biotechnology, by an engineering, to create new things. So we're using that biology and we're modifying it. And usually at the DNA level. So this is one of those reasons why we use that. And so then there's your... DNA origami helix. Congratulations.